Here's how to create AI video straight out of your imagination by combining Kling AI with the new Nano Banana Image Generator. The hardest part of making AI videos is keeping the scenes and characters consistent. Well, the new Nano Banana Image Generator solves that part for us. We can use it to create multiple shots of the same scene and characters. But how do we turn these shots into an AI movie scene? That's where Kling's updated start and end frames feature comes in which works by taking the two images as the first frame and the final frame, and seamlessly stitching them together into a full AI video. The idea is simple enough, but it's an extremely powerful AI video tool if we use it correctly. Here's an example where I start with an image shot from behind a character of her dark silhouette, and also a close-up shot on the front of the face. And using Kling AI, I can generate a shot where the camera rotates 180 degrees around the subject while filling in all the other details inside the scene. The powerful part about this is that we can control exactly how the face of the character looks when we zoom in on her. Here's an even longer camera motion where we're starting all the way outside of a building and the camera is going to fly in through the doors to the shot of the character inside. Previously, big camera motions like this are super hard to animate while keeping the visual style of the scene consistent. But because we're using the first image frame and also the last image frame, it allows us to control exactly the way we want the character and the scene to look. So besides just generating camera movements, you can also make transformation videos. This one's a little creepy with the tentacles crawling out of our mouth. But it's a visually captivating scene. So let's take a look at how to actually create those types of videos. Inside of Clean AI, let's go to the video tool. And underneath the models menu, you'll see the Clean 2.1 model with a new start and end frames feature. So it'll let us upload the first frame, which is the start frame of a video, and also the end frame, which is the last frame you want to end up with. So what I'm going to do is do a transformation scene, where we're going to start with this photo of a young man and see if we can rapidly age him into this much older guy. Maybe there's a science experiment that's gone horribly wrong. We'll start batting a start frame. Let's go to upload, and I'll attach the image of the young man. And then I'll go to the end frame and upload the image of the older man. So we have both of the image frames uploaded, and now it's going to be the AI's job to create a seamless transition between the two frames. So in the prompt, I'll need to describe roughly what the transformation should look like. And this is an important part of the process. We'll say the young man's skin starts to wrinkle and turn pale. His hair turns white and falls off as he transforms into the ghastly old man, an expression of horror on his face. This should look like something you might see in a horror film. There's also this negative prompt where you want to kind of describe all the things that should not happen. Some keywords might be like blurry, distort, deform, warp, keywords like that. Now you can choose between a 10 or a 5 second video, but I'll leave it at the default setting and generate the video. And here's what the finished video will look like. That is a perfectly horrifying transformation. The animation does look super smooth as his skin starts to wrinkle and turn pale and his hair starts falling out. There's plenty of cool special effects we can create using the start and end frames. For example, if we start with this take during cider journal of an alien creature and use an end frame of a live action shot, we can actually animate the alien crawling out of the journal into reality. Now the key part of this is you want to make sure the character looks the same inside the drawing as well as in the real life shot. Here's another example of a transformation type of shot where we have this huge lunar monster bursting out through the ground. So we see that we can make some pretty impressive AI video effects using Kling AI. But a key component of this process is actually creating the images themselves, which I made using the new Nano Banana Image Generator. It's an AI-powered image editor that lets you edit images in real time using just basic language descriptions. So to create these images with Nano Banana, you can access them through Google Gemini, and you'll want to make sure that you have the Flash model selected. Then using this image editor, I could take this photo of the old man, for example, and ask him to reverse his aging so he's younger. So let's take this picture of him. We'll drag him into Gemini. And in the prompt, I'll give it direct instructions for how to edit the image. So I can say, turn him into a younger man with dark hair. And then let's try submitting this. 
and there it is. Its head is a little big and using the same exact process, you can edit your images to show characters and scenes from different camera angles. Just like I've done with this astronaut. Starting with a front view and I asked Nano Banana to generate an image of him seen from behind. If you create these inside Gemini though, it does come with this watermark at the bottom. So you might want to use a different platform. One platform that doesn't come with watermarks is OpenArc, where you can directly edit the images in Nano Banana and it'll create the full images, except you see there's no uh, little watermark here at the bottom right corner. So aside from the visual effects of transformations, a great way to use this start and end frames feature is that it gives you a huge amount of control over the camera movement in the scene. So I showed this example where we have a photo of the astronaut seen from the front and also one of him 180 degrees turned away from behind. And we can make the camera rotate around him. Here's another example of that same scene where we're starting from an overhead view and zooming in down into a close-up shot of his face. And there's an endless amount of different start and end frames combinations you can use this to create any camera movement you can think of. But we can take things even a step further and make way bigger camera motions that also include transformations in the images. So let's say if I start with this photo of a spaceship and I use the end frame of a close-up shot on an astronaut's face, we can actually generate a complete seamless camera movement starting from outside the plane, zooming in all the way through the window onto the astronaut's face. And for all of the transformations that I'm showing you, we can also move in the opposite direction. So in the example I just showed, we started from the spaceship and zoomed in onto the astronaut's face. However, we can use this reverse button and it'll change the direction of the camera motion. This time starting from the astronaut's face and pulling back all the way out to show the spaceship. Here's another pretty cool example I was able to make starting with just an overhead shot of this landscape on an alien planet and pulling all the way back to show the planet in outer space. The way you run this prompt when you use this AI video feature does make a pretty big difference. So let's say if I start with this side profile of this uh, worker at her desk and I want the camera to push in and rotate around to show a close up shot on her eyes. If I just use a prompt like the camera pushes in and zooms in on the eyes of the woman working intensely, the camera movement is limited to just the prompt so it'll push in and zoom in on the eyes like I'd prompted for. But to make this work, the AI will make the woman rotate in her chair and face us. This is not the effect I'm going for though. I want the camera to actually rotate in front of her. So instead I'll use a prompt like, the camera pushes in towards a woman and rotates in front of the woman to show the eyes of her working intensely. If we use that prompt, it'll generate a completely different camera movement than before. It's going to push in and rotate 90 degrees around to show her face. There are so many possibilities of the types of AI videos you can make with this update from Kling. And if you combine it with a powerful nano banana image generator, the possibilities are endless. Also, they do have some discounts for new signups. So right now would be a good time to check it out. Now, I also made another tutorial where I compared all the different AI video tools and to see what the different AI video platforms were good at. If you want to see that in-depth comparison, go watch this tutorial right here.